Hello, my name is Dr. Ondo. I'm a pediatrician at Enugu State University Teaching Hospital, Nigeria. This is a video abstract for a paper titled Negative Marking and the Student Physician, a Descriptive Study of Nigerian Medical Schools. My co-authors are Dr. Ekwuchi, Dr. Sora, Dr. Sinobi, Dr. Waneri, Dr. Wezoke, Dr. Amade, Dr. Keke, Dr. Chinawa, and Dr. Ojioke. The two commonly used marking systems for multiple choice questions in Nigerian medical schools are the formula scoring method, popularly referred to as negative marking method, and the number right or non-negative marking scoring method. A number right scoring method, the correct answers are awarded a positive point, while incorrect and omitted answers are given no point. While with the negative marking scoring system, a correct response results in a positive score and marks are lost for incorrect answers. Although the negative marking scoring system attempts to discourage students from getting in order to increase test validity, there is the view that it is an excessive and unfair penalty which also increases anxiety compared with the non-negative marking scoring system. However, even among proponents of negative marking, there is no consensus on the penalty for an incorrect answer. Recommendations by different authors range between a minus one mark penalty and a minus one quarter penalty for an incorrect answer. Feedback is an important part of the education process. Therefore, this study assessed the perception of medical students about negative marking method for the multiple choice question examination format and also the effect of gender and risk taking behavior on scores obtained with this assessment method. We administered a structured questionnaire to 175 fifth year medical students in Enugu State University and the University of Nigeria and subsequently a class test with and without negative marking scoring systems at different dates. 24% of the students had an unfavorable perception of negative marking, while 61% disagreed with the assertion that negative marking reduces the tendency to guess. Not surprisingly, the median score of the students who were not graded with negative marking was significantly higher compared to those graded with negative marking. There was no significant difference in the risk-taking behavior between male and female students in their multiple choice question answering patterns with the negative marking method. The negative marking is less preferred by students. It is the view of the authors that it should not be completely discarded due to its benefits. Rather, we recommend a modification with the lesser penalty of minus one quarter for an incorrect answer. We hope the study will stimulate further research for a more effective assessment tool, which will ensure that the student's final score in a test is a true representation of their knowledge level. Enjoy your reading.